here we are. Uh, I'm in the garage. I'm gonna watch the second half in out here. So, uh, first of all, I I am informed that yesterday's video did not go as I thought it did. Um, I still haven't figured out, I guess, how to use the app that I use for my editing and the sound quality on the over uh, voiceover and the canceling out of the music that I played didn't work the way I thought it would. I'll do better. It's a long video yesterday and I am using a 4G phone, an old Samsung 9 and um, it took hours and hours to upload a 30 plus minute video. Uh, I need better Wi-Fi at my house and I probably should upgrade my phone. I just don't want to. I'm old enough that I don't want to learn new things and I don't want to learn a new phone. But I guess I will. Uh, cracked my screen cover again, so that might just be all the motivation I need to get a new phone. These curved glass phones are so annoying. Anyway. It's not the phone that breaks, it's the cover. So there's a little bit of positivity there. Anyway, today is just going to be a lot of cardio and I don't want to call it accessory work. Normally I just call it non-traditional resistance training. Kettlebells, mace, probably some weighted walks. May even get out sand, sandbags. I don't understand why sandbags are so damned expensive. <laughs> it's a sealed nylon bag with sand in it, and it's hundreds. Some of them are hundreds of dollars. And it's like God Almighty. And I guess some of them put Kevlar or whatever materials in the in the making of them, and that's more expensive. But my God. So I have a 50 pounder. Actually, I have two 50 pounders. They're different type sandbags. One is a um, it's not a ball, it's more like a disc um, that I just don't even use all that much. I, 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 I just got away from using it at all and I just haven't gone back to it. Then I have a 50 and a 20 or I think it's 30, 20 or 30 pound uh, that's designed to actually go over your shoulders. Um, I really should use that on like leg day for some lunges or something, but I just don't use it that much either. So, I wouldn't say it was a bad spend for my garage gym to have those things, because it is another tool that I have, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, and actually the, the shoulder type sandbags just kind of sit on the top of the cart that I use for my kettlebells, so it's not a real inconvenience. Um, there are some things that you put in your gym that you eventually regret, and I'm kind of starting to, I'm not, I don't regret it, but I'm kind of getting over having this elliptical back here. I don't even use it anymore. I, I got it for free. I haven't maintained it. If I had maintained it, maybe, uh, well, maintained it more, I did a little bit, but some of the things that I didn't maintain would make it much more um, beneficial, useful. And I've been told by a friend of mine that's a technician that really probably just needs a new battery. Um, those, those batteries are, I don't know what the correct term is, but the, the use of the machine kind of helps keep the battery charged. And so if it doesn't get used like it should, the battery will die. Well, once it came out of a commercial environment and into my home, it did not get used as much as it would have uh, in a gym. It is commercial quality. Um, it's the old life fitness that people at the gym absolutely loved. We at the gym lease our cardio equipment on a three-year lease. And when people started talking about, please don't get rid of these when the lease is up, but that was part of the lease is that we gave back the stuff. Um, I guess technically we broke the lease and kept two of these life fitness ellipticals and 
basically put them on a countdown to basically just give them three more years. So this thing got used pretty well for six years in the gym. And uh, when it was time to bring in the new stuff at the beginning of a new three-year cycle, uh, our technician was just going to haul them away. We just kind of told him, it's like, we essentially bought them and we're done with them. Do what you want. Well, I'd known the guy since high school. And so I just asked him, hey, Mike, what, what are you going to do with that? You know, you know, with those ellipticals. And he said, I'm just going to put them in storage. I said, oh, he didn't really have a plan for them. So I said, hey, you want to store one in my garage? <laughs> and here it is. So, but I don't use it anymore. In fact, when I um, rearranged some things, I actually put my kettle, my uh, dumbbell rack close enough to the elliptical that it doesn't even, the, the, I've, Im, I've, I've impeded the range of motion of the elliptical. So if I got on the elliptical, it would be a noisy thump and it would not go the full elliptical motion. And I could change it, and I could use it. But it's one of those things where if my feet are able to handle using the elliptical at this point, I just as soon go for a walk. Um, I haven't been for a walk in a few weeks. Um, I actually took a picture of my feet this morning. <laughs> as I got out of bed. So so I'd not been up and about and walking around or anything. I, I literally just kind of threw my feet over the side of the bed, put them on the floor and took a picture. My feet are usually, my feet are vascular, very vascular. And I guess most people's are, but mine are, you know, you can see most of the veins running across and through and up and down my feet. But for about a month or more now, uh, yeah, uh, more than a month, it's back to the beginning of July, um, my left foot has been swollen. Makes me a little nervous, but not nervous enough to really do anything, only because um, <laughs> as part of my psyche, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be an annoyance to anyone, and I feel like my orthopedic surgeon has kind of probably had it up to here with me. Um, extremely nice man, and he would probably be mortified that I said that, but I um, also don't know that there's anything he can do about it. I am just okay with it the way it is, I guess. I, it's, it's one of those things where you chalk it off to be in the new normal and just deal with it, but um, maybe at some point, because some of the signs point towards maybe an infection um, that maybe I hold out for a while I have uh, I have a regular doctor's appointment in October maybe I talk to him about it he usually checks my feet anyway so that that comes from saying I, I just don't use the elliptical anymore and it's space in my garage that um, I might have better things to do with. Um, I actually have in that box behind me there uh, a new bigger uh, dumbbell rack. My dumbbell rack is full and I have three sets of dumbbells under the rack. I'd like to get them off the floor. Gave some, gave some duplicates away um, but still my, my current dumbbell rack is full and I would like to rectify that. I also have another plate tree for weights since I also have weights stacked up on the floor and a couple um, stacked up on top of the tree that I currently have that if I hit the wrong way, fall to the ground. A 10 pound iron or steel, whatever that is, falling on a concrete floor is noisy. So I need to do that too. So I've got a dumbbell rack and a weight tree that need to be assembled and put in here and probably could use the space that the elliptical is taking up. Um, other than that, I'm a 
okay with kind of how things are in here. I, I also bought a, uh, a television mount to put the TV up on the wall that would get some more floor space opened up. It just means that I have to decide what I want to eliminate from the shelves that are on the wall so that I can cut them down to size. And some, sometimes that's just more work than I feel like doing. I, I get myself into these projects and I don't do them, but that would change things a little bit in here and open up more space. There's a lot of things that I don't use all the time, but I don't want to get rid of. Um, of course, I have some uh, old bike wheels hanging up that I'm probably never going to do anything with. My, my bikes currently have wheels, so why I have extra wheels? Anyway, I do have some bike things that I probably should either use or get rid of. Very soon I'm going to be back on my bikes. I keep saying that. I actually thought about yesterday taking my mountain bike just to kind of get it tuned up. Um, I have a few extra things going on this coming week, but maybe one day I'll just slide over to the bike shop and ask them to give it the once over, make sure it's up to speed and up to putting my 290 pounds on. So, uh, which brings me to my weight. 290 sounds really bad if you're talking about um, an unknown situation that, oh, he weighs 290 pounds, he's 5'11", wow. Um, but, so, like, 10 months ago, I was 375. So things have improved. Things are a little stagnant right now. I'm down maybe three pounds this month which um, I really anticipated being somewhere closer to 10, maybe just, you know, between five and 10 pounds a month would be cool with me at this point. And I'm a little, I'm lagging a little this month, but I've got, I've got five days, six days, whatever it is to try to make up some ground. I do anticipate a thorough um, thrashing this weekend just to try to get, uh, get another couple of pounds down before the first of the month. It's not, it's not the best way to do it. Slow and steady wins the race, as they always say, but sometimes you just want to sprint that last little part of the race. So be it. So, like I said, just going to watch some football. Hope that Palace can maintain a two-goal lead into the second half and get through the rest of this match and beat City. Or as I like to call them, man shitty. I got nicknames for several teams. But today it's man shitty we're watching. And uh, I don't know that I'm going to have a whole lot of stuff worth watching on videos, but maybe I'll take some anyway if I do some fun stuff or just do, feel like doing something a little different. Um, going to do, like I said, some kettlebell and mace is on the, is on the agenda. Um, don't know that I've used kettlebells as much as I would like to this week. I certainly haven't been keeping up with it like I said I would after using it every day through the month of July. But that's okay. Uh, mace, I really need to do more often. Mace swings, uh, as you've seen me do, are really good therapeutic type exercises for shoulders. Um, I need to keep up with them. I also just need to get, keep up with the basic uh, internal and external, or external rotation exercises. I haven't kept up with that. Um, I've done just a little bit of stretching so far this morning, but uh, nothing quite yet. So, I've rambled long enough, and I'm uh, sorry for that. But I'm still drinking my coffee and watching some football. And... Uh, We'll get roll, rolling here pretty soon. And uh, I'll check back in later, I'm sure. So, thanks for watching.
All right, I'm done for today. Um, got two sessions in. Uh, didn't quite do what I was thinking I might do, but got plenty of work in. Um, had a great smoothie for my lunch, and now I'm starving, but I'm going to have another smoothie, different flavor, for dinner. And um, probably do the same thing tomorrow, trying to catch up on a bad week's worth of eating. I would not normally advocate punishing yourself for bad eating, um, and I don't consider this punishment. My smoothies are pretty stout, calorie-wise, protein-wise, um, but they also are good for me mentally, trying to get kind of my frame of mind back on track um, and realize that my food is my fuel instead of my food is my enjoyment, my pleasure, my satisfaction, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, there's that. I did not video any part of the second workout because I didn't want to take any more time doing it and um, I had people in the background across the street and in my driveway making dinner and I just didn't do it. But I'm done now. I'm hungry. My hands are a little rough. Um, sorry, shaking my camera here. Which reminds me, I didn't tell you this part of the nerve testing thing. The technician and the doctors both, doctor both, were so concerned. Maybe I did tell you this. Uh, about my hands. They were like, oh, your hands, why are they so yellow? I said, those are calluses. I row, I swing kettlebells a lot. I got calluses. <laughs> it's not like I'm jaundice only in my hands or I have palm tumors. Anyway, I often think people get in the people. I should I should clarify. Medical professionals sometimes see the outward, and I get it. I'm a big fat guy, but sometimes you think they've already written off any possibility that I exercise. So, but I do. I promise. Anyway. All right, I got to go eat because I'm starving and I am done for the day, I do believe. I will see you tomorrow morning. I'm not really sure when. Uh, depends on if I get out here before the Spurs match. I don't know if I will or not. Spurs I'll have to watch in the house, so I won't be in the garage rowing and watching Spurs. Um, but looking forward to the match. Come on, you Spurs. See you guys tomorrow.